Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more topic in Automata theory that is regular expressions. So far we have discussed about the finite automata. So that is a DFA or NFA with epsilon or NFA. Now we'll go with this regular expression. So what is this regular expression? And this regular expression is a set of characters that represents the search pattern for any string. So in DFA or NFA, we have seen uh, a language which accepts all the strings for the given condition. Right? So here, if the same condition is written in terms of algebraic form, that is known as the regular expression. And here also we are going to write the language which accepts all the strings by this regular expression, that means by the algebraic form, right. So first let us see the definition for this regular expression. There are a few points and then we will see the application that means where we can use this regular expression and then I will show you the examples. So how the regular expressions will be in the algebraic form. So first one, so regular expression can be defined as So in the shortcut, I will write it as R E, right, is defined as follows, right. So one, epsilon is a regular expression. We know the epsilon. Epsilon means the empty string. So regular expression corresponding to the language, to the language L is equal to the empty string corresponding to the language L is equal to empty string. And one more point that is a phi is a regular expression corresponding to the language with the empty set. Empty set. So you, you just observe both are different. First one is an epsilon that means null string. That means there is a string but the length of the string is zero. But here coming to the phi, it is called a regular expression corresponding to the language L is equal to empty set. That means there is no string, empty set, okay, empty set. That means language is not having any string. But here language is having a only one string where the string length is zero. That means a null string, epsilon. And the next one, so X is a regular expression corresponding to the language having only one string called x, only one string called x, only one string, right? And so if x is, if x is regular expression, sorry, I will write the shortcut. Over a language, L of x and y is a regular expression over language L of y then then so this is most important the first one x plus y x plus y is the regular expression corresponding to language x union language y language x union language y where language of x union y is equal to language of x union language of y so this is a union okay this is a union so if it is a union, we will represent it as a plus, x plus y. And the next one, x, y is a regular expression corresponding to 
L of x into L of y, where L of x y is equal to L of x into L of y, right? So this is nothing but a product which can also be known as a concatenation. So this is a union and a concatenation. And the next one is this closure. Closure. So R star is a regular expression corresponding to language L of R star is equal to L of R whole star. So this is a closure. This is called a closure. Union, concatenation and a closure. If it is a union, we will represent with a plus. If it is a concatenation, we will represent with a product and closure, right? Star will represent the closure. So this is a regular expression, right? So hope you are having any doubt about this regular expression. I will give you an example so that everything will be clear, right? Now, the second thing is, what are the applications? That means where we are going to this, uh, going to use this regular expression. So one application of this regular expression is validation, data validation. So in this data validation, we are going to use the regular expression. Best example, so this is the application, data validation. So this is the application for regular expression, application for regular expression. So example, example, compiler. So we all know about the compiler. So the compiler will be used to convert from one language to another language. So if you are executing any C programming, so first we are writing the program and then we are compiling the program so that the object code will be generated without any syntax errors and then we are executing the program. So in this concept, compiler's concept, the compiler will set some sort of rules, right? And we need to write the program that obeys that particular rules. If any rule is violated, automatically we'll get the syntax error. So that data validation will be done with the help of this regular expression. So if you write the program, complete program, first the program will be divided into a small tokens and each token will be compared with the compiler set, uh, I mean the rules set by the compiler. So this comparison will be done with the help of regular expression. And if any rule is violated, automatically we'll get the syntax errors so uh, you know about the syntax error syntax we will get the syntax error only if we violate the rules while writing the program it doesn't check any logical errors just it will compare the programming uh, instructions with the rules set by the compiler right so that's the best example for this regular expression <laughs> and whatever the language whatever the language we are writing for this regular expression is called regular language so this l is called regular language right so previously we are discussing about the finite automata and we are writing some sort of language and in that language we are writing some strings which are accepted by that particular finite automata that is called a normal language and if the strings of a language satisfies these regular expressions that language we call it as a regular language Right? Now, now, see what is a regular language. So, hope you understood about the definition and the application of this regular expression. Next, regular language. So, this regular language is a language that can be defined by either DFA NFA with epsilon NFA or the regular expression or the regular expression so the regular language is a language that can be defined by either DFA or NFA with epsilon or NFA or the regular expressions, right? Now, we'll see the example. So we need to write the regular expression denoting language 
with the strings having any number of yes over alphabet a see here in this example we have to write the regular expression see re means regular expression right we need to write the regular expression which denotes the language with strings with all the strings having any number of e's so if you want to write the regular expression for this one the re will be any number of e's that means zero or more so simply we can represent it as a star so a star is the regular expression so this is in the form of algebra right so a star is is the regular expression which accepts all the strings having any number of yes see the same thing same example i will i will just uh, extend it one any number of yes and any number of b's or the input symbol a and b now what happens here any number of yes and any number of b's so anything can be happened right now the regular expression will be a any number of a's or any number of b's that means star so any number of a's and any number of b's so this is one regular expression which accepts all the strings having any number of a's and any number of b's right now one more example and just i will close and in the next session we'll see a few more examples now the next one so we need to write the re we need to write the re so denoting language with the strings starts with a and end with b so we need to write the regular expression so previously we are supposed to uh, uh, construct the dfa or lfa for this particular uh, question so now we need to write the regular expression see so here it should start with a and end with b so the regular expression will be it should start with a it should end with b right so in between there can be n number of a's and n number of b's right so it should start with a it should start with b it should end with b and in between it can be any number of a's and b's the combination can be any so simply we can write it as a plus b star so this is the regular expression which will have the strings which starts with a and which ends with b right so this is a regular expression so we need to write the regular expression in the format right in this format so previously we are writing the uh, we are constructing the dfa right so now in this case the another thing another way of representation is the regular expressions okay set of characters or a set of symbols right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubt regarding this part so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much